What's up guys, welcome back to another random battle live and what can I say, let's just get right into it. Let me pause it and fix my screen because this is not the way it's supposed to be. Alright, there we go, let's go. <laughs> let's get a battle. We lead with Gorbis, so we win. Uh, <laughs> let's go for the uh, s uh, sub right here, I think. It's fine. Uh, are we White Herb? Yeah, okay, fine, let's go for Shell Smash. Screw it. Let's do it. And, uh... Let's see, he's at plus one speed, we're at plus two, we should be faster. Maybe not. Nope, definitely not. And, uh, we don't have baton fast, so we have to go for hydro pump. And we could be taken out by this first move right here. Let's see, we should probably just gone for hydro turn one. Oh no, that doesn't take us out, alright, cool. And hit, please, nope, 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 not gonna hit, not ever gonna hit. Uh, do we have anything to resist this? Uh, why is our whole team weak to this thing? And it's, uh, it stabs. Like, literally, we, <laughs> we lose to this thing. Why? No! Can you miss Poison Jab? No? Okay. Alright, well, um... Yeah, this doesn't win either. Uh, what can I do to this? Oh, I can Earthquake. Hold on a second. No, Bug Reserve resists ground, doesn't it? Yeah, that's neutral hit. Let's go for Return. Choice Scarf Return. He's still faster than us, but... Uh, he goes for Rock Slide, tries to get the flinch, I guess. And he gets it. Awesome. Great. So, now Poison Jab is going to take us out. Not sure why he went for Rock Slide, when Poison Jab was just a better move. We're just going to get swept by a Scallop Bead, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That's going to be it for today's live. <laughs> why have I not gone into Leopard yet and just fucking T-Wave this thing? Um, he went for Earthquake, right? Actually, you know what? Let's go for the Encore, I think, is good. Yeah, let's go for the Encore. Yeah, Encore Minute EQ. There we go. As he, uh, as he's now going to get sucker punched in the face. I'm surprised that didn't take us out, actually. They part's a little bit bulkier than I thought. And, uh, now he's locked into EQ, so we can safely go into Rotom. And just Volt Switch on this thing, I think. It's fine. Uh, we are late. Oh, we, we don't have Volt Switch. Awesome, okay. So we're gonna T-Bolt right here. He's gonna go for Earthquake. That's obviously gonna miss. And, uh, we're not out of it yet. <laughs> we're not out of it yet. We're still in this one. Don't know why I didn't go into Leopard the first time around, honestly. That was uh, that was a misplay on my part. Sorry, guys. All right, <laughs> let's try to let's try to win it back with two grass types and a fairy. Uh, we can win with Slurp Buff. Wait a minute, it's not Belly Drum, is it? I saw it set. I think I saw it briefly. It didn't look like it was Belly Drum. Nope, <laughs> it's Sub Calm Mind. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna go for a uh, Thunderbolt right here. It's my strongest hit uh, to hit this thing with. And uh, he's gonna go for a sludge bomb. He's not gonna knock us out, and he's not gonna get the poison. Wow, okay, all right. So uh, a little bit of hacks in our favor. We missed a hydro pump. We got flinched on a rock slide, so it's about time that we we start getting some luck back on our side. We are gonna lose out to Life Orb eventually with this thing. Uh, if he doesn't set up hazards, though, we're okay. Goes into Hydreigon. Uh, are we faster? I wouldn't think so. Um, let's see, what's he gonna go for? If he goes for goes for a U-turn or a Dark Pulse, actually. Slurpuff is a pretty good play, regardless. Let's go into it. He goes, into, he goes for a Fire Blast. That does a lot. Wow. Uh, that's Life Orb. Citrus Berry activates, which is nice. If that's the only thing he has to hit us with, we can Calm Mind up on him. Oh, we're faster. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. We got the Unburdened Boost. All right, let's go for Dazzling Gleam right here. Knock this thing out. And uh, hopefully the rest of his team is weak to Fairy and Water. Uh, he goes into Gardevoir, traces the Unburden, which doesn't really matter because he still has an item. And, uh, we can just... Can we Calm Mind up on this thing again? No, we can't. Sceptile is faster than this thing, even Mega Evolved, so I'm just gonna go for the, uh, the Dazzling Gleam again. And we should be able to pull back a little bit of a win with, uh, with Sceptile, potentially. We're not gonna go down here to the next, uh, to the next burn hit, so... If we get a crit or something, we're gonna be able to get a hit off on another Pokémon. And then potentially Sceptile can clean up the game. Uh, we do get a high roll on the Gardevoir. Okay, cool. So bring out a Rhyperior or Rhydon, please, so I can just knock it out. Uh, Wall Ring comes in, actually. All right, well, we're just going to Dazzling Gleam this thing. And then we're going to Giga Drain with our... Uh, actually, we can even Leaf Storm. He goes for Protect. Good play on his part. Uh, now I'm kind of forced into Rotom. And uh, let's see. What do I do? this thing. It's got ice coverage, which means Sceptile isn't that great against it. I absolutely need to go into Rotom. And I think I have to actually make a double into Sceptile here. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Or do we just weaken this thing with Will-O-Wisp? Uh, or is Hydreigon as well? Yeah, let's go for Willow. Okay, he stays in. 
Um, he goes for the Ice Beam, which means he potentially doesn't have the Ice Shard, which is nice. Let's go into our Sceptile, and actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to Mega Evolve and Sub, and let him take a little bit of burn damage, because I don't think a Giga Drain is going to take him out straight off the bat. Let me actually calc that real quick. I, I, I hate calcing during random battles, guys, let me tell you, but after all that hacks, I gotta make sure I win for you sometimes, okay? Alright, leave me alone. <laughs> Let's go, uh, Mega Sceptile, OU, All Out Offensive, Giga Drain to a Wall Rain. Giga Drain to a Wall Rain, specially defensive. Uh, Giga Drain does not do anywhere near enough. Uh, we need to, we need to sub up on this thing. Yeah, definitely. Need to sub up, if it's a specially defensive variant anyway, it's, uh... It's definitely going to be able to, to take this hit. And it's got leftovers, which kind of tells me that it is. I got to just sub up a couple more times. Uh, I know that Dragon Pulse can take out his uh, his Hydreigon. So he's losing 6% a turn. I'm going to get a lot of HP back with the, uh, with the Giga Drain. So I got to just go for this. Uh, and really, really hope that we can pull it through with Sceptile here. Let's go for one more sub. We do have enough HP to go for it. And hopefully this time around... We will be able to take him out the Giga Drain. Let's see. Are we modest? Uh, no, we don't seem to be modest. Are we like max HP or something? And we failed to take out the Wall Rain. So there goes any hope of that. Um, <laughs> that comeback it was, it was very close. You know, he dropped the GG. I'm going to do the same. It was a little bit haxy, but uh, we'll jump into the next battle right away. We're at six minutes, so we should be able to get three very comfortably. Uh, lead Crustle against Butterfree. I'm not making the same mistake as last game and staying in on this thing. Uh, what can I potentially go into? Flygon doesn't seem bad because we resist both stabs, I believe. I actually choose it to switch out into Lantern, so that kind of works out for us, except that we don't have a ground move on our Flygon. So, <laughs> not so great. Um, ooh, Arceus Grass. Okay, cool. Awesome. I can, I can live with that. Hydro Pump would have done nothing anyway, so that's perfectly fine. We can go for the uh, Judgment. Judgment right here is, uh, is perfectly fine. Judgment Grass, he goes into his Blaziken, so not perfectly fine. Please don't be speed boost. Uh, and he doesn't get the speed boost there anyway, so that's not gonna be revealed right away. Uh, we can go into our Swallot on this thing, I think, and then just EQ uh, is fine as we resist its uh, one of its stabs and the other one shouldn't be able to kill us unless he goes for a Swords Dance, so uh, that should be fine. If he does go for a Swords Dance here, we might be in a little bit of trouble. But, I'm gonna have to deal with it as it comes. Uh, I think Latios can take a hit unless he's packing HP Ice and he's special, That's which is also a possibility. So let's just start the timer on this guy, and uh, we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, I gotta rush this, uh, this recording a little bit, unfortunately, because uh, we are gonna be playing a round of Cards Against Humanity with the crew from the NBA. I might record that, might not. Guess you'll, you guys will have to wait and see. Uh, but he does go for the Swords Dance, so whatever he goes for is gonna end up doing a lot to me. And I don't know how much Earthquake is actually going to do. He's going to actually Baton Pass this. I don't know who he's Baton Passing into, but uh, he chooses to go into Hoopa, who doesn't take physical hits too well. Uh, this thing can definitely knock me out with a... Uh, with a Psychic-type move, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go for the Pain Split on his Psy Shock. We actually live that. That's fine. We're going to go for the Pain Split. Uh, I mean, we're not going to... We're not going to live the next one, but do I have a Dark-type? No, I don't. Uh, do I have anything potentially faster than this? Um, this is Ladio Sight. Uh, we have a Focus Sash Butterfree, so we should be okay to sleep powder this thing. Hopefully it hits. Goes through the Psy Shock, that's good. Gonna go into Butterfree. Gonna get off the Sleep Powder right here. We do have Psychic for the, um, for the Blaziken, which is really nice. And uh, we're gonna put something to sleep right now. And then we're gonna Quiver Up. And hopefully he doesn't have like a Zoom Roll with Aqua Jet or something on his team. And uh, we'll be able to Psychic the Blaziken as well. I think we are naturally faster. We might be speed tied. I have to check that when it comes in. Uh, if this thing is base 159 max, then yes, yes, we actually are faster than... Oh, well, no, maybe not Maybe not Mega. Uh, he's going to go into Crustle on the Sleep Powder, which is cool. So we get to conserve our Sash. And I'm not staying in on this thing. I'm going straight into our Claw Itzer. And this thing can have sturdy, but he's not gonna wake up this turn because it's a mandatory sleep turn And we can just fire off a scald right here do a lot of damage to something on his team Hopefully his lanterns not water absorb if it is then boo-hoo, but we have to Gotta deal with it as it comes um, 
He's got a very, very monstrous team. He already has two Ubers, so uh, not looking too good for us. I mean, we have one as well, but it's not the best. Uh, he goes for, uh, goes into Manaphy, so that's a little bit scary. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn out here. Kind of hoping he just goes for the Tail Glow. We'll be able to go into Arceus and just Judgment him. He does go for the Tail Glow, which is awesome. Let's go into Arceus, and let's just go for that Judgment right now. Uh, he can switch into his Blaziken, that'd be fine. Uh, and he can Swords Dance away, but I'm pretty sure two more, uh, two more of those hits takes him out, so... Uh, that just straight knocks out Manaphy, so that's good to know that Arceus Grass can knock out a Manaphy from uh, after Stealth Rocks, I guess. Um, let's go... So this thing is Swords Dance, Baton Pass. Uh, if it has Fire Move, and yeah, then it definitely can't touch Latios, there's no way it has coverage. Uh, on it for Latios. Uh, he goes, he switches into Giraffe Rig. Uh, now I know that this thing gets Shadow Ball in, um, in random battles. So I'm gonna pull a switch into Flygon right here. And then I might just start outraging his team. We'll see. Uh, he goes for Hyper Voice. Not sure why exactly, but I'm just gonna fire off Outrages now. Uh, be able to two shot this Giraffe Rig. We are Life Orb. And he goes for the Nasty Plot, which is a misplay. We're going to go for another Outrage, and hopefully we get a three turn, so we can get a... Actually, a two turn would be better in case he brings in Crustle. Uh, we don't want that happening. We do get a two turn. Awesome. Okay, so now he can't just freely go into Crustle and bank on Confusion turns, which is nice. Uh, we should be faster than this, and we can just go for a, another Outrage right here. Uh, as he is... He proves to be Scarfed. Okay. Good to know. Um, so what do we have for... <laughs> For a Hoopa going for Hyperspace Fury. A Scarfed Hoopa going for Hyperspace Fury. Um, we can't go for the... Alright, hold on a second. Butterfree is faster. What we can do is Quiver right here. And if he switches into the Crustle, that's great. And if he stays in, that's even better. Because then we are really... Uh, we're looking good. He goes into his Lantern, so now we'll be able to take hits from this thing like nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Bug Buzz and see how much it actually does. That's 47, that's a respectable amount. He goes for the Thunder Wave, so that's very hindering. And, uh, we're just gonna have to try to get off another- Oh, no, not a Quiver. Bug Buzz, please, please cancel it, please cancel it. Uh, that still did a lot, and I'm kinda worried. Uh, so that will take us out. So we kinda need to switch into Arceus here. And, uh, as he goes for a Volt Switch, so good play, I guess. Um, is he Life Orb? Yeah, he is, okay. That's why that did so much, I was wondering. Uh, he goes into his Blaziken, and um, I'm just gonna go straight back into Latios, I mean, I have no reason not to, right? He's gonna go for the Flare Blitz, it's gonna do absolutely nothing, and let's see, <clears throat> what do we go for here? Let's go for the Draco Meteor, as we will be able to take any hit from anything. He Baton passes his speed into his Hoopa to get it knocked out by a Draco Meteor, so that's great. We get rid of his Scarfed Hoopa, and now we can keep our Mega Latios for his Blaziken. Uh, we got to deal with this Crustle right now and go into Cloretzer. And uh, I guess his Lantern isn't Water Absorb because he didn't go into it last time. So I'm actually going to go for a, an Aura Sphere right here just in case it still is. He stays asleep this turn and we're going to be able to go for a Scald and knock this Crustle out. Awesome. Before he even gets a chance to wake up. Cool. So now he's got to go into his Lantern. Uh, I can just um, go into Arceus here. I don't want him Volt Switching on me for free. That's the only thing. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna fire off an Aura Sphere, honestly. He goes for a Thunder Wave anyway. I'm gonna get off this Aura Sphere, not be able to knock out his Lantern. But now I can actually go for a Scald, uh, as hopefully he's not Water- Well, he's Life Orb anyway, so he takes himself out. And now we have the Latios as a backup for his Blaziken. And, uh, actually, Arceus should- I really hope he doesn't Swords Dance here. Okay, cool. Um, Arceus should be able to take one Flare Blitz, I think? Uh, I think we have to test it at least, and get off some judgment damage, uh, at the very least. Well, actually, uh, Latios pressures him from being able to go for the... Hold on, Flare Blitz is a little bit weaker, it did 37%, so yeah, I think I'm pretty free to roost here, actually. Uh, as I think he has to attack me, he's going to, uh, weaken himself right there. And now two Flare Blitzes don't take me out, minus two crits, and we can safely go for the Draco Meteor on his Swords Dance, and we connect, and we knock out his Blaziken. Awesome! Alright, so we're able to pick up that uh, that win after a little bit of a shaky start, and hopefully we'll be able to get two wins here. We are at 14 minutes now, so should be able to do this in 20 minutes. Let's go, and uh, give, me, give me a Volcarona against a Ferrothorn uh, right off the bat that doesn't have Thunder Wave, or that we're Lum and he has Thunder Wave. <laughs> Uh, we get a Scrafty, which we're very used to using on the channel. Is it Shed Skin? It's Chesterberry Rest. Awesome. Okay, I can deal with that. Let's go for Bulk Up. 
Uh, hopefully he doesn't switch into a fairy. That would suck. Actually, I should probably look at my team first. Uh, see if I have any response for a fairy. Uh, kinda don't. At the same time, I guess Golduck could take a hit. Uh, so can Articuno. Its defenses are pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's just go for bulk up, honestly. Uh, I don't see a reason not to. He should be speed tied with us if he's max speed, which Porygon 2 doesn't run. So, should be pretty good here. And with the bulk up, uh, after a knockoff, he won't be able to take anything. He goes for a toxic, that's fine. We're gonna go for the knock right here. And we're gonna be able to take an item off of something. If it's this Porygon 2, that makes it a lot easier to deal with. He gets the tri attack off, that's gonna do a lot of damage. And uh, now let's see, does it kill us? It's a roll, it's a roll. So he is max speed, so we speed tie with him, right? Yeah, let's go for the rest. We actually get it, nice, awesome. And we're gonna be Chesto, so we're gonna wake up right away. And he's gonna go for the tri attack. He's not gonna be able to knock us out right here. He would have taken us out with that roll, actually. Uh, knockoff, I think, does the same amount after an Eevee light comes off, if I'm not mistaken, so... We can just go for the high jump kick right here, win the speed tie, and knock out his P2. Awesome. Okay, so we get rid of a very, very annoying defensive Pokemon right off the bat. And uh, maybe Scrafty can sweep, who knows? With the, uh, not with the, not without the Shed Skin, unfortunately. I don't know why you wouldn't run Shed Skin with, uh, with Rest instead of Chesto. It doesn't make much sense, but anyway. Uh, this thing is definitely a threat to any, theme, to any team with its increased attack. He actually goes into his Genesect. We should be able to take any one hit and fire off another high jump kick right here, I think. It's fine, U-turn shouldn't be able to kill us with plus one defense. Uh, even stab, I don't think so. It's neutral anyway, yeah, it definitely can't take us out. Yeah, and uh, he doesn't have a plus one attack boost, so. It goes for the Iron Head, I guess he's trying to get the flinches, he gets the first one. I'm actually gonna rest right here, because if he flinches us, he flinches us anyway, and if he doesn't, then we go back right back up to full, and he has to deal with a full health Scrafty again goes for blaze kick that does absolutely nothing that doesn't flinch so we're gonna get the rest off and now we can just start spamming knockoff again he should probably switch into a fairy if he has one right here he goes for shift gear i didn't even know genesis got shift gear that's pretty crazy uh we're gonna fire off some uh some okay well he's he's getting up pretty pretty high in attack his iron head is now gonna do about uh 50 so we need it not to flinch right here as we wake up and we don't miss the high jump kick either, which is awesome. We're going to be able to take out the Genesect because it's very frail. And our Scrafty is exactly where it was before. So uh, nothing has changed, but he's down one more Pokemon. And he goes into Klefki. Another uh, pretty annoying Pokemon. Very defensive. Just going to fire off a uh, high jump kick. He is faster than us and he does go for the play rough. So he seems to be offensive Klefki, uh, which is not a very common thing. But now we can go into our... Uh... Oh, are we HP fire? Oh, very nice. Let's go into Golduck and uh, start setting up a sub, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go for sub. Let's see if he's going to stay in on us. If he doesn't, that's awesome, because we'll be able to get a free hit on whatever comes in. Or potentially switch out if we need to. And uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. With two Pokemon down already, just the Scrafty. And uh, his max speed Klefki that's in here for no reason. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um... Looking, uh, looking good. This guy's taking a while to make his play. We actually get a free sub up on his reflect, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna go for a calm mind right here. He seems to be um, offensive with screens, so not really understanding that. But uh, the play rough does make our uh, our sub fade, which is a little bit uh, okay. He goes for toxic when we showed sub. That's cool. All right, where uh, he's he's what uh, play rough reflect toxic and what light screen? I guess. Let's just go for the Skull and see how much it does. It does 84% at plus 2. That's insane. That's what happens when your Klefki isn't defensive. Uh, we'll go for another one right here. Should be fine. And uh, Scrafty and Golduck, man. Putting in work. Putting in work. These uh, these two very underused Pokemon. Some would even say rarely used. Ha ha. <laughs> so, uh, Shaman decides to come in. Definitely can't take us out with a Seed Flare. We can just fire off an Ice Beam on this thing. Potentially knock it out. He goes for Sub. Good play. Uh, we have to keep Ice Beaming until we're dead, so um, if he decides to attack us at some point, that would be fine. But uh, he's wasting his own Reflect turns, so this isn't smart. He goes for an Air Slash, gets a crit. Uh, we actually break through and get the Ice Beam off, which is nice. Uh, no flinch for you today, sir. And we live one more round of poison, so now he has to still deal with a plus two, plus two Golduck. He has to bring in something that outspeeds it, and I don't think this actually does. No, it does not. 
we can go for a Scald. If it has Quick Attack, it's gonna go for it right here, and then we can play in Consequence. But he lets his Flareon go down, and now he's down to only what? What is he bringing in on this? Let's, um, let's bring in our Heracross right here. Brings in Rotom, so worst possible play from us. Uh, actually, we have Knock Off, <laughs> so let's go for it. What's his speed? 194, he outspeeds us, he can potentially burn us. Goes for a Shadow Ball though, that's not gonna do anything. We're gonna get a Knock Off right here, get rid of its choice specs, and that was specs actually. That's insane that that was specs damage. It's gonna do a lot less now, and we are gonna be able to pick up the last kill at 20 minutes and 22 seconds, lovely. Uh, so that's gonna be it for random battles today guys. I know there was a little bit of an awkward pause at some point Sorry about that. Uh, somebody was standing in the doorway while I was recording and it was uh, uh, We were trying to make hand signals to each other. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today guys If you enjoyed hit that like button down below uh, leave a comment for me uh, hit me up on Twitter If you have anything uh, you want to ask and uh, subscribe of course if you want to see more battles like this if you want to see more OU lives, if you want to see more random battle lives, if uh, are you, 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 I pretty much cover every tier now. Uh, we're not doing a little cup and ubers yet. We will eventually get into that, but um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these battles. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.